Lionel No. 394 Rotary Beacon was produced from 1949 until 1953, when it was replaced with the No. 494 Rotary Beacon in 1954. This is a very finicky operating accessory because it relied on the heat of the light bulb to make the fins on top, or the vanes, make the beacon spin, as you see here. Now, I see there's, you know, some videos on YouTube where it shows how to make the 394 work with a little fan or with a little air pump for a fish tank. No, you don't need to do that. This is actually working the way it was designed to work, with the heat of the light bulb. If you take the beacon top, now it's very fragile, very fragile. These things bend very easily. As a matter of fact, it came in this little package like this container holding the beacon top so it doesn't get crushed. These little wind vanes on top your heat vanes are the things that make this thing turn. Now there's also a pivot point inside the housing here right there. You can see that? That sits on top of the light bulb which has a dimple. This is a 461 dimple light bulb. You'll see the dimple right there. I'll turn the light back on. Now I find that if you take these little vanes and you adjust them to about a 60 degree angle and make them all evenly the same size and they're all present. You have to have every one present, all these little veins present. This will operate the way it was intended to. You also have these little side plates on the bottom. This is like a convection heating system where the cool air is drawn up where it gets heated by the light bulb And then once the heat starts building up inside, it pushes through the little wind vanes on top and then it gets spin. It takes a few seconds or so to get the thing uh, turning, but once it gets going, it's probably one of the quietest accessories Lionel has ever produced because there's no motor. It just relies on the heat of the light bulb. Now it's starting to pick up a little momentum right now, but it's operating on its own without any assistance from a fan or a fish tank pump or hoses. Again, those little veins on top must be bent to a certain angle and they all must be even and they all must be present in order for this to work properly. If you need new beacon tops, they're readily available on eBay or, or you know, train stores or whatever. You can replace them, but you don't need any pumps or fans or anything like that if you do it this way. It works properly and it works nice. It's not spinning around a thousand miles an hour. It's just going around nice and smooth and slowly. Looks good, prototypical. I hope this helps some of you guys out there that are frustrated with this accessory, but it really is not that much of a big deal. If you do it this way, I promise you it will work properly. It's going on its own right now. Just the heat of the light bulb. That's it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye.